Here's meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. 616 now. Happy Monday, everyone. Hope you survived our hot weekend. We didn't quite get to 100 in Boise yesterday, but we were close. 99. And this is the big headline for this week. Our heat wave intensifies. I know it feels like the month of June has been one big heat wave. In fact, I just looked at the numbers. We've only spent four days so far this month at or slightly below typical daytime highs. We've been hotter than average most of the month in the Pacific Northwest. This is the big uh, headline you'll hear on the national level. All time hottest temperatures likely today. We saw it happen yesterday. We'll be even hotter in places like Seattle and Portland. So our neighbors to the west just sweating it out. Dangerous heat sets in here today as well across southwest and central Idaho. And it is here to stay for a while. Could we have 10 straight days of triple digit highs in Boise? The potential is there and that would be an all time record streak of 100 plus degree days. Right now, the most we've had in a row is nine days. That's happened three times in the last uh, 10 to 15, almost 20 years, actually. And the most triple digit days ever in one season, we had 20 days at or above 100 degrees in Boise back in 2003. Will we get there? That remains to be seen. Regardless, this is a dangerous heat that is setting in. We have that excessive heat warning that starts at noon today for the Treasure and Magic Valleys. Uh, we'll also have excessive heat warnings this week in the West Central Mountains. A heat advisory for temperatures a little less scorching for these areas shaded in orange, but still just abnormally hot. And this is also kind of exacerbated by overnight lows that stay warm. We're right now at 76 in Boise, 72 in Mountain Home. These are current temperatures you're seeing here. So our air conditioning units barely get a break. Opening the windows doesn't do a whole lot when it's in the mid 70s, but it can help, especially to get that airflow if you open the windows on both sides of your home. And of course, it's not just us. In the entire states of Washington and Oregon under an excessive heat warning, and that stretches all the way down through California and portions of western Nevada as well. Phoenix and Seattle today, the same high temperature. That puts it into perspective, right? We'll be in the triple digits across the Treasure Valley. This is that dome of heat that is just anchored itself over the Pacific Northwest. The axis of this heat will shift to the east today. That's what will boost our temperatures. We'll also get some breezy easterly winds at times. That'll kind of wick the sweat this afternoon and be ready as well. If you're headed to the mountains starting on Wednesday, then potentially Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe into the 4th of July on Sunday, there's the potential for some late day scattered thunderstorms. Not much rain, unfortunately, but lightning and wind, not a good combo when you have such a dry fuel. So be ready for that if you have camping plans this week. If you're staying put here in the valley today, expect temperatures anywhere from 101 in Mountain Home to 103 to 105 as you progress west across the Treasure Valley. No records likely today. The record high for Boise is 110 for this date, but still this is hot. Mid 90s even in McCall today. Stanley will hit 90 degrees in the Magic Valley well into the 90s, so you really don't escape the heat outside of the Treasure Valley. It'll just be a little less hot. Look at this extended forecast. We're nothing if not predictable, right? Dry, hot and mostly sunny from now all the way through Independence Day this coming Sunday.